Church. Welcome back for some more Daily Hope. Today, Paul packs a punch in this scripture. We are in Ephesians chapter 11, verse 1, where he tells us this. Furthermore, because we are united with Christ, we have received an inheritance from God, for he chose us in advance, and he makes everything work out according to his plan. Hey, I like this verse. We're told that we're chosen. We're told that God will make everything work out. We're told that God has a plan. On top of being chosen and being cared for, we're told that we have an inheritance. Everything belongs to Christ, right? Everything belongs to Jesus. But the Bible tells us we get to share in that inheritance. We're joint heirs with Christ. And you might not have a material inheritance here on earth, but you have an eternal inheritance that no one can ever take away or tax. (laughs) It's a reserved inheritance inheritance and it lasts forever and this inheritance goes both ways because we get heaven and everything that God has but God gets us God's inheritance is me God's inheritance is you that's how much he loves us I want you to think about Matthew 13 the parable of the pearl where we're told in this parable the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking a beautiful pearl and that when that merchant found that pearl, he went and sold everything he had so that he could have it. The same thing goes for the gospel. This is the redemption of mankind is God went and gave everything he had for us, for our eternal inheritance. That's how blessed we are. It's in his will. It's in his plan, the redemption of mankind. So now the question is, now that you know you have this inheritance, How do you live in response to knowing what you've been given? How does that change how you live your life? Here's a challenge for you. Instead of praying and asking God what you want, what if you just sat and prayed and thanked God for everything that you have? Just a refresher, a reminder of that inheritance that you do have. Just sit and list it all out. It's going to blow you away. And the last part of this verse where it says that he has a plan and it's all going to work out according to his will. Well, what if you started praying like you actually believe that? What if you started praying like what you were praying for was actually going to happen? I'm going to say that again because some of us are asleep and we have stopped praying with that conviction, with that belief that God's going to move, that these prayers are going to happen. They're going to come to fruition. Wake up, little buddy. This scripture screams that we are chosen, we are redeemed, we are adopted, we are predestined. We have access through prayer to Christ and his will and his according to his plans everything's gonna work out for us what a gift sit in that rejoice in that throw your worries out the window because god's got it under control i'll see you next time bye church